This rice cooker has been with me for almost or more than six years. By thinner or fatter, <laughs> kung anong na-contribute niya ay malaki because it lasts until this day. And this is still functional. In fact, I just used this an hour ago. But since it's already deteriorating, uh, there are already cracks here and uh, may mga kalawang na rin. So the rust here are already exposed. So I have to put this rice cooker under partial retirement. <laughs> I said partial retirement because I'm planning to, res to um, refurbish this one. Uh, papalitan ko yung mga sira na mga parts kung may parts na deteriorating na inside and also yung plastic handle niya dito sira na rin so papalitan ko and I'm going to repaint this one with the round go ulit timing holy week na kailangan mag repaint tayo <laughs> tawag ko niya is Leon Joke kasi mahilig si architect uh, Leon Rostia ng jokes na yan Nakakatawa. Hindi yung joke niya. Hindi yung the way he delivers the joke. <laughs> Flying piece, architect! <laughs> the reason that I'm going to uh, put this into partial retirement because may nagbago akong nakalit. And ito na siya. ta -da! This is now my new rice cooker. This is a Xiaomi smart rice cooker. This is smart because it can be connected to a network. In fact, you can uh, connect this to the Xiaomi Home app. Now let's see, let's, let's examine how this rice cooker perform, and I'll give you the review in this video. Watch until the end, and please don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. This rice cooker is so huge. Halos isang buong roller ang haba mula harap hanggang likuran. Halos 10 inches yung lawak niya at halos isang lapad ng butilya ang taas niya. It actually dwarfed the Xiaomi smart induction stove sa laki niya. And here are the other specs. LED panel uh, on top of the rice cooker or on the cover is uh, actually protected by a plastic so you have to peel from here then uh, but before peeling that uh, if you haven't downloaded a Mi Home app uh, you may scan the QR code here so that you'll ca you can download the app if uh, you had already this uh, app then we can uh, proceed so it, just check there are mark markings here but actually those markings are on the plastic not on the cover of the rice cooker check please so you see you cannot see any characters there <laughs> again uh, so that's the plastic actually so there's no LED panel that's one of the characteristics of uh, Xiaomi products uh, their uh, induction stove is also like that the display if it's turned off is subtle or you cannot uh, detect it unless the unit is turned on so upon plugging this uh, device this appliance to the AC outlet uh, the first thing we have to do is to connect this to the uh, network to the Wi-Fi network and to the Xiaomi home app then uh, the Wi-Fi indicator is not in in front it's not on top of the cover but it's at the rear portion of this uh, rice cooker it's here So there, there's the sign, you can see there, the uh, Wi-Fi sign. So that's the actually the indicator of the uh, Wi-Fi connection. The Xiaomi Pad 
is actually made of uh, alloy material it's a cast iron and it's it's coated but it's so heavy <laughs> first time to uh, carry a pot of a rice cooker that uh, as heavy as this uh, if you compare this with aluminum uh, pot uh, I think uh, the difference is a, a little uh, bigger uh, or, or it's quite bigger because it's it really weighs I think it, this is worth I think one kilo <laughs> I, uh, so again if you try to check the uh, cover of the rice cooker has only three buttons you have the timer the start button and the select and cancel button there's no other uh, button here that uh, we can see and all of these three buttons are soft touch buttons these are something like me emboss sa gitna para feel natin ang, na it's a push button so inside this uh, or under it is a micro switch para pag push natin mag click siya so I am plugging now the uh, rice cooker to the AC outlet. Check, you see, there's a sound, and you can uh, already uh, see the display. <laughs> so the display is uh, subtle. You can only see it once the cooker is turned on. Uh, I think what we are now seeing is the time the clock it's not a timer but a clock that's a clock and I think you can see the uh, down there uh, it's already blink blinking it's blinking uh, orange it, it means uh, it's not yet uh, connected to the uh, internet but uh, in order for us to connect this appliance to the net, we have to add this to the Mi Home app, okay? We are now at the uh, Xiaomi Home app and we are going to add the smart rice cooker uh, to the Xiaomi app. There's a sign there plus because it, the app was able to scan or detect the presence of the rice cooker so you can see it here the me ih rice cooker so uh, let's choose that one then um, there's a network juntar 24 this particular rice cooker is a uh, it cannot work on the 5 gigahertz band of the Wi-Fi but it works on the 2.4 so let's select the uh, 2.4 it's already con uh, connected now next you click the next you have to bring the phone closer to the device then there's an instruction here Xiaomi Home app wants to use a temporary Wi-Fi network to connect your device connect So it's sending the message and it's now connecting to the the device to the network. Naka blinking blue na ang uh, rice cooker and ngayon is naka steady blue na. It means it is already connected to the network. But uh, here on the app, hindi pa nakalagay. Okay. So connected na sa network and it's initialized. It's already done. So uh, I have to select a room kung saan siya. I just put it in the studio. Then the name is rice cooker. I can just change it later, and it's done. I have to agree. Ola kong choice. <laughs> so these are now the this is now the app uh, the the selection or the options under the rice cooker. So. It means it is already connected to the Miho map, okay? So, kung babalikan natin yung ano, uh, menu or the uh, 
home page of the home the Mi Home app makikita mo nito yung mga device na naka, naka ano nakalagay um, so so here makikita natin na naka steady blue na yung wifi indicator because we already added this uh, appliance to the Homey app or Mi Home app rather then it's already connected to our network here inside my apartment okay now let's check the panel the LED pa LED panel so makikita mo dyan nakalagay 2332 uh, that means 11 o'clock ng gabi 11.32 ng gabi so the clock is synchronized with the app okay so there's no way of uh, turning this off or put this uh, rice cooker on sleep or on hibernation like the smart rice uh, smart induction that you can put it on uh, hibernation or sleep mode like this one the smart rice cooker of Xiaomi has that has no option like that so your option is one option is to uh, pull the plug out of the AC outlet or I have to turn the switch off or you can just keep this uh, rice cooker um, plug to the AC outlet and on standby mode and just use the huge uh, LED panel that shows the clock that's the uh, standard time in fact that's the Philippine standard time because this is synced to my network so then makikita mo dito meron siyang tinatawag na uh, sensor so this is the top sensor and inside this uh, lid meron pa siyang tinatawag na foam breaker foam breaker I don't know what it is exactly but as far as I'm, my understanding is concerned, parang siya yung nag-prevent na makalabas yung uh, bula, no? bula ng uh, rice during cooking. Then, sa baba din dito, the usual, meron siyang uh, another sensor tulad ng uh, smart or Xiaomi smart induction cooker. Ito siya is mapindot din. No? Pareho din ito sa mga uh, regular rice cooker na meron siyang uh, papindot sa 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 sa, boot, sa bottom because this will uh, determine na merong laman yung pot at saka mag-iiba yung timbang ng pot pag may tubig na siya at wala lang tubig kung luto na yung pagkain yung rice so pag magaan na siya then it means naluluto na no yung rice so ganun siya pag detect so, ngayon, mag, magluto na ako. So, I'm going to start now cooking. Again, this is connected to the internet. So, uh, to the Mi Home app. So, I'll observe this, how this uh, rice cooker will function. So, I'll switch the rice cooker. Kita nyo, nakadis nag turn on na at nakadisplay yung time. This is the clock. Clock to siya. Then, sa baba, yung menu panel niya, nakalagay dyan, rice, quick rice, then, merong congee, merong keep warm, and, uh, favorite. So, iset ko pa yung favorite through the Mi Home app. Um, we will select, uh, this one is the selector. Nakaselect na siya. Okay, you see? So, nag-blink siya. Kung yung nag-blink, yun na ang selector mo. Then, you click. You start, you... Ang rice, by the way, is the uh, regular cooking of rice. Tinatawag na na slow cooking siya kasi iabot ito ng uh, 60 minutes. No? So, that's not the way we are cooking rice. Iabot siya ng one, one, uh, 1 hour or 60 minutes. So, pag ilagay mo sa quick uh, rice, ito... It will only last about 45 minutes and that's the way more or less tayo nagluluto ng rice. So I'll 
I will choose quick rise and I'll click start uh, correction not 45 minutes but 40 minutes okay so yung 40 minutes na kalagay dyan is a counter mga countdown yan siya so let's see Dito naman sa Miho Map, makikita natin dito na ang rice cooker ay naka-indicate na ng cooking. So, nasa cooking na yung status niya. Let's click it. Tignan natin. Um, so, ang device modes niya, ito rice, quick rice, congee, keep warm, and favorite. These are all uh, can be found also on the LED panel on the rice cooker and sa baba makikita mo naka-indicate na dito ang status ng cooking it's quick rice kasi quick rice yung pinili natin at nakalagay dito cooking expected to be completed in oh, 8.07 so that's 8.07 is the time 8.07 in the morning <laughs> okay so you'll be notified kung luto na siya so titignan natin now if you click the quick rice indicator here you can see more details of the cooking so nakalagay dito expected duration of 40 minutes and will complete at 8.06 so ay, nakita, makikita mo dito um, the temperature is to, to be achieved is or nasa 24 degrees centigrade na yung temp, cooking temperature ngayon and you can also stop cooking uh, using the app na uh, nakalagay dito sa baba yung button stop cooking okay um, from the rice uh, cooking option merong tinatawag dito favorite so we can add our favorite here nasa baba nakalagay ang mga favorite recipes so we have the stewed soup tasty rice steaming warm up rice and yogurt so I will choose steaming so I'll click the favorite then nakakita natin dito naka default yung cake so then sa baba makikita mo nakalagay replace one so it click muna natin yung cake ano nakalagay so ito yung description ng uh, cake po magluluto tayo so may ingredients pa <laughs> okay then may nakalagay na cooking time nakaset siya then uh, you have to click start cooking kung magluluto ka so you can control from the uh, mi home app Okay. Now I will replace the cake to so I click replace one. Ah, okay. So I cannot uh, change this um, favorite until after I can finish cooking. Okay, I'll do that later. Um, let's try to see uh, in the home on the Google Home app. Kung na detect na ba tong rice cooker na to? because the Mi Home app is also connected with the. Um, Google Home app. It is not found on the Google Home because the Xiaomi Smart Rice Cooker is not capable of Google Assistant unlike the Mi Home Smart Speaker and the Mi 360 camera. So aside from the uh, timer above in uh, sa LED display, makikita mo rin dito sa button ng start na nag nag-indicate din siya kung saan na yung saan na yung uh, cooking stages so sa ngayon nasa between 40 and uh, 30 stage siya ang pakikita mo naka blink yung uh, light indicator niya so nasa 39 minutes na tayo so makikita natin dito ngayon na uh, may usok pa rin lumalabas dito sa exhaust niya so while the rice is boiling talagang may lalabas niya na usok otherwise mag uh, Iipon yung heat doon sa loob ng uh, rice cooker and puputok ang rice cooker dahil sa pressure. <laughs> okay? So, kailangan talaga may vent, no? Talagang may ventilation. Ito, itong yung vent niya, uh, parang exhaust siya. So, ito na siya ngayon. Tapos na ang cooking. It just keeping warm. Kung makikita nyo sa LED panel, sa menu niya, nakalagay keep warm. Okay, as I said, you can also cancel the keeping warm through the Mi Home app. So, kung makikita mo sa notification, nakalagay dito, Xiaomi Home Cooking Completed Rice Cooker. So, in-inform ka to you the Mi Home app na luto na yung rice. So, ito, tingnan natin rice cooking. 
Okay. So, ang status niya ngayon is keeping warm. The temperature is too high. Please be careful. So, meron pa siyang warning. Okay. Then, you can also cancel keeping warm. Dito sa baba. You can press that also. So, nasa 15 minutes na yung pag-keeping warm ng rice sa loob. So, I'll try to check kung pwede natin ipindutin yung cancel para ma-stop yung keeping warm. Ah, okay. Yun. So, nag-stop siya. For the first time, bubuksan natin yung luto na na rice natin. Medyo exciting to. Okay. So, yun na. Tingnan natin kung anong hitsura. Okay. Then, gagamit tayo ng ating saddle. Dalawa siya actually ng saddle. Ito ang para sa rice saddle. Manipis siya. At yung isa naman is para yun sa congee. Medyo malalim siya. Kasi masabaw yung congee. Okay. So. Oh. Humuk pa. Daghang pang tubig. Oh. So, in short, hindi pa siya luto. Okay. Tingnan natin. Actually, I'm, I'm cooking brown rice. And normally, pag brown rice yung niluluto ko, my ratio is 1 is to 3. Meaning, for every rice, for every cup of rice, there's 3 cups of water. But, tingnan mo, may, may tubig ba? <laughs> so, Siguro, kailangan dito, 1 is to 1 talaga. Although, ang rice niya is, um, mukhang luto na. May kaso lang, uh, parang di, wala siya idea pa paano lutoin ang uh, brown rice. So, mag-experiment tayo. Ang ibig sabihin ng Chinese characters na ito ay thick kettle. Ah, makapal kasi siya. <laughs> Okay, again, uh, we are going to, for the second time, we're going to cook rice. I made several experiments to achieve my prepared taste of the brown rice. Okay, tapos na siyang uh, nag-warm ng about 25 minutes. So, 25 minutes yung keep warming niya, uh, tinapos ko para at least may idea tayo kung ano mangyayari. So, it's open now. Then again, remember, we are... Uh, setting the cooking uh, mode at uh, rice instead of quick rice. So rice is that 60 minutes. That's one hour plus we have 20, 25 minutes of uh, keep warming. So one hour and 25 minutes. Lahat. Ang, ang kagal. <laughs> okay, ito na siya. Tingnan natin. Very soft. <laughs> oh, very soft yung pag ano ko pag uh, slice ko sa rice kasi ako half rice na talaga ako kaya kada meal uh, pag magluto ako ng isang cup ng rice pag naluto na siya iha half ko pa siya kasi half rice na talaga ako ay basa pa rin no you see marami pa rin tubig may tubig pa rin so in short uh, you have to adjust the setting so this is the third time I'm cooking rice. So this time I'm still uh, choosing rice. So I will be uh, cooking for uh, about one hour. And uh, the ratio of my rice and water is still the same. It's, uh, it's the same with the second time. So this is one uh, or the first and second time. So one cup of rice, two, three cups of water. But this time uh, that's, it's, not, it's not only one hour. I also changed the taste curve, so I selected uh, rigid, then I customized it to 70% uh, hardness. That is, the, the finished product is supposedly chewy and flexible, so I'm going to confirm that. And I'm uh, pressing start now. So it's cooking. So cooking is uh, completed and remember our setting here is rice then it's uh, the hardness is at 70% so let's try to check if pungluto tabayo
So, ay, may tubig pa rin, no? I therefore conclude I have to adjust the cooking, the water. Next time, it should be two cups only instead of three. Under the rice setting, you can see here that um, the taste curve, there's an option to, to uh, set the kind of or the process of cooking mababasa mo rito yung taste curve and there's a selection there soft moderate and rigid okay now under rigid if you click that you can read uh, you can see that it's being uh, it's uh, the rice is chewy and flexible so dan yung finished product ng rice chewy and flexible siya so um if you customize your setting, ang chewy and flexible is uh, described as full, pleasant, and chewy rice grains. Then the hardness is 100%. So you can actually set that from 1% to 100%. Kung gusto mo ang soft and delicious, medyo floppy siya, and sweet, you can set that at 1%. So, my range uh, actually no? from 70% to 100% ang chewy and flexible. Glutinous and delicious is from I think 35 35% to 70%. And yung soft and delicious is 1% up to 35 34%. Okay. Then you have the option to keep the uh, cooker warm for the next 24 hours you can just turn that off okay you can just manually set the warming later then you can set actually appointment if you want to, to uh, automa automatically cook the rice you prepare it then you set the time when when you're going to start cooking so there's an hour there uh, the the timer here this is not time but it's a clock time so 1031 for example you want to cook it after 1031 so you can set that you can click OK okay so there are so many options in quick rice there's no option here then again you can automatically keep the cooker warm for the next 24 hours you can just turn that off Konji, the same thing. There's also a uh, automatic warm. You can just manually make uh, set that. And favorite, I choose steaming. After several cooking attempts, I decided to cook my rice from then on under this setting. The setting is at rice. Then, uh, yung hardness niya ng rice is nasa 70%. Then, ang tubig ay binaba ko sa instead of 3 cups, naging 2 cups na lang siya. So, ang ratio is 1 is to 2. So, this is unlikely pag ako ay magluluto ng brown rice. But, uh, iba kasi itong cooker na to eh. Uh, it cannot understand about brown rice. <laughs> so, ito na. Um, umusok. Uh, I'll try to check. Kung anong, tingnan natin may tubig ba. Ito na yung ating Paghati into two. Tingnan natin. Um, kunti la lang ang tubig. So, ang gagawin na lang is uh, let this stand for a few minutes. Pawarm lang natin. Kahit hindi mo na i-turn on yung keep warm dahil sa lakas ng init nito at saka magaling ang retention ng uh, metal nito itong cast iron ng nanampat. Uh, mag warm siya kahit up to 3 hours. So ito na siya ko. It's cooking already. Uh, pwede natin silipit. I-open ko. So nag-alarm na. It's open. Tingnan natin. Kung pasado ba to. <laughs> so yan. Sa tingin nyo, luto na? Ah, luto na. Okay, so I think 15 minutes is enough. Kasi ang yung nakaset una, naka-default is 30. I think that's too long. 
Actually, the shumai tastes better than cooking it on a regular rice cooker using a steamer. Mm -hmm. Tama -tama lang. As per instruction, you should clean this uh, rice cooker. Not exactly the entire rice cooker, but the inside lid, the one that I have the uh, focus. Because uh, there are uh, accumulation of rice bubbles uh, inside. So we can take out this uh, inside lid by pushing up, then take this out. Check natin kung may dirt na ba? Eh, wala pa eh. <laughs> so, but ito yung siguro yung tinatawag na uh, foam bubble. Pwede natin tanggalin ito siya. Ah, okay. Parang may laman na tubig. And we'll uh, empty this de uh, device. So, tingnan natin kung meron na bang laman. Kasi one time lang nagamit ko to. Uh, I-open natin. The, the, ito lang siya. Cli ang clip niya. You push that. Then open. Ah, wala, wala, wala pang laman. So, it's clean pa. So, you don't have to clean this one. Ganito lang pala siya. Ang steam ng rice, pag mag-boil na siya, papasok dito and uh, lalabas siya dito sa vent niya. Diyan. So, ganun pala ang nangyayari. I highly recommend Xiaomi Smart Rice Cooker. It's not only smart, but also classy. It's the only smart among rice cookers that are available in the local market. I don't know abroad. The closest rival that we could compare are the digital rice cookers from Tifal, Sharp, and Media, priced at about 3,000 to as much as 10,000 pesos. You can buy this uh, Xiaomi Smart Rice Cooker at any Mi stores nationwide at 3,995 pesos. So the price is competitive. So until the next uh, Xiaomi products to be featured here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. Dengan selamat, aku si Jum Teriman, Hai Tech Tawai!